After waiting for an entire month, the Kitsune update has finally arrived and I'm about to show you everything you need to know about the update. If this video hits 5,000 likes, I'm going to be giving away 5 permanent Kitsune fruits. So like the video right now and let's get it started. This isn't even the full transformation of the Kitsune fruit. You're literally a furry with 3 tails, looking like Ari from League of Legends with the blue glowing orb. This is sick man. I'll briefly go over each of the moves since I'm sure most of you have already seen the abilities. So the Z ability, a curse enchantment. It's pretty much a range attack, throws out like a bunch of blue flame orbs which goes around the enemy. That looks dope man. I think it has a stun attached to it as well. If you miss and hit the ground, you can still damage them and it sort of does like a slight knockout. Now the X ability, Tells of Burning Agony, this move does a zigzag attack that can hit up to 3 people and can drag up to 1 person along with it. I gotta say the sound effects, it's really nice. I just realized your run animation also changes when you have the Kitsune fruit equipped which I think is really cool. Yo I should totally do a Naruto noob to pro, let me know if you like to see that. Next we got the C ability, Foxfire Disruption. This move is a range attack and have massive AoEs, pretty insane if you ask me. Last but not least, before we dive into the transformation, we got the F ability swift assault pretty much a dash attack which i believe can also deal damage really good for mobility and traveling pretty neat once you hit three tails you should be able to transform the transformation in my opinion looks okay i guess it has its own transformation too when dashing and running so that's pretty cool in the transform you can use yourself as a mount so other players can ride on top of you but keep in mind that you must be allied so yeah if you're with your ally he can get on top of you or she Something that Zeola said to mention is that your movement drastically increased as well as your defense. This was stated by one of the admin in the Blockchain Discord server. Now, obviously, the transformation mode, all your abilities are going to be buffed up as well. The Z ability can hit up to three people now and has a much larger hitbox and AoE effect. If you miss the Z move, it'll create this sort of mind like type of ability that probably damage players within it. So, I guess that's good for people with bad aim like myself. The X move now has a teleport type of dash attack to it, which also deals AoE damage. The animation on this ability looks insane. The C move pretty much shoots out a big fat laser. At least that's what it sounds like. Seems like it has a massive long range attached to it. So pretty much all of the abilities are buffed up, not to mention the M1s. Zeolis forgot to include it in the video, but, but here's a video he shared later on his Twitter showcasing the M1s. Something interesting about it is that you already get M1 right off the bat without the transformation. And during the transformation, the range of your M1s are probably much larger and I'm pretty sure it does more damage as well. Overall, I think this fruit is absolutely insane. You can even walk or run on water during the transformation. Now let's talk about some of the other things they included in the update. They also released a new weapon called the Fox Lamp. The first move is pretty much a long range attack. The Z ability shoots out like flying orbs after the attack. You can either tap or hold similar to the god human x ability currently we have no idea on how to obtain it but since they did add a new sea event and new island within this update it will most likely be obtainable through an npc whether it's a quest or a puzzle that you need to solve and speaking of sea events and island that's going to be something we'd have to explore ourselves but along with the katsune fruit new sea events maps and new weapons they also introduced two new accessories the kitsune ribbon and the kitsune mask Jolis did not provide information on buffs or how to obtain them but my speculation suggests the new sea events and island will likely involve an NPC or hidden puzzle for obtaining these accessories. There were some other things Zeolis forgot to mention but there will most likely be ship repairs and the abilities to fight on ship since they did fix the bow mechanics where you would always fly off if you jump or use an ability. Not to mention the Christmas event which will most likely come within the next two weeks. They will probably bring back the Christmas island to the first and second sea where you can obtain devil fruits and Christmas accessories such as the cloak. You can even even unlock the Santa Slay, which is another boat that you can buy and use. They also mentioned that there will be a lot of new boat system, so there's that. The release date is going to be next Thursday at 9 p.m. EST, which will be on December 14th. I want to hear from you guys. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you think the Kitsune update was a W or an L, and let me know if I missed anything. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'm planning to upload two new videos every week, so click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.